if fragrance reviewers wear fragrances. Stick around. I've been waiting my whole life. I've been waiting on that door. Been waiting on you for the knock knock. Happens every day, happens every day. Won't you check out my vids? Check out my views. Really see how I'm doing. To the top, small fries don't stop. And you're clicking one more time. One more time, that means a whole lot. Whole lot. Stick around. And I wore a my birthday suit because I knew it was going to be a longer video so I can put you through this torturous uh, video if you're a heterosexual male and if you're a female of course you're turned on by now uh, this is family friendly but if uh, you want to hang out with me and figure out what for the your favorite fragrance reviewers what kind of fragrance they are stick around and find out grab a drink and we will hang out This video has been brought to you by Hurricane Beverages. 40 ounces in the house. Sponsor your boy. All right, so when you think of a fragrance reviewer, what kind of fragrance are they? What kind of characteristics do they have um, that are similar to the fragrance? What do they make you feel like? So I've got about nine here, I think, six, seven, I don't know. And we'll go through them. Number one, Mont Blanc Individual basic um, good but very uh, common and you know what you're getting with it Jeremy fragrance that's number one number two on to number two Kubano his real name is Angel so he is the Angel EDP and uh, with EDP of Angel this is very strong very loud in your face it's got like a chocolatey, mm, fruity, a little synthetic. So, you know, um, his humor is not for everyone, but it's it's when you get to, you know, smell it and you don't put too many sprays on and he's got the right balance. He is a hit and he is uh, Angel is a funny guy and he's a he's a blast to watch a blast to watch on to number three. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so what do I think of when I think of this fragrance? Unforgivable by Sean John. Can you guess? Can you guess who this is? Which fragrance reviewer is this? Now, when I think of this myself, I think of the time when I was working at a uh, Outback Steakhouse and I put a little too many sprays on like I usually do. And and one of my coworkers said he was on the grill. He was this ball guy, um, which also reminds me of this fragrance reviewer. But he said, "And you smell like my you smell like my father-in-law." And I said, "Really?" He's like, "I'll take it." So, and upon you know wearing it more and more, I get how you could get that older guy vibe. It's got a lot of iris in it, and whatever. But but so. I think of an older gentleman, not too old, but a bald gentleman, maybe in his mid-30s. And uh, that's why this is going to none other than a gentleman's journey, Chad. Now, is this funny like Chad? No. Is it uh, uplifting and uh, engaging and invigorating like Chad? Yes. So, Chad is Sean John Unforgivable. Chad is a classic in the community. I think Chad is one of the most, this is kind of common, one of the most underrated guys. I don't think it's the most underrated, but um, Chad definitely is a star among stars. Okay. When it comes to fragrance reviewers and just people in general. All right. Next up, we have the purple juice. And I know someone's trying to steal this from me. Someone wants this bottle, but they will never have it they might have a i might give them a little bit but anyways this is sung ohm oh look at that shimmer Ooh, that's nice huh this is sharp pine sharp piney barbasol um shaving cream and in your face first time i sprayed it it was in the car and it was like Gah! it was it was like a uh it was too much but a little more once you get to know it then you appreciate it and you 
you um, consider it a classic. So this is none other than Robes 08, in my opinion. Now I have a different kind of story with him. With Robes 08, I was watching some of his videos, and you know, sometimes he comes off a little. Um, I mean, he's got like a presenter voice, which is good, and and I guess I just got that feeling like he was kind of a um, kind of a dick a little bit. But but it's but totally the more I was watching him, I was just figuring out that that's just the way Canadians are. No, <laughs> um, trying to understand it more, and I got why he's called the fragrance guru. So if you haven't checked out Sung Ohm, it's a classic. Same goes for Rob Zoe. So Rob Zoe is Sung Ohm, in my opinion. All right, on to number whatever. Diamonds and Sapphires by Elizabeth Taylor. Now, who could this be? It's got a little bit of lemony, uh, no, a little bit of melon vibe, a little pepper. Um, it's good, classic, and a scent for women. Who deserved this classiness? None other than Agnes Eva, the sparkling, the uh, diamond and sapphire here in the fragrance community. She is one of the, the uh, pillars in the community and a great fragrance reviewer, which is ours also female. And Agnes, much appreciated. You are Diamond Sapphire. You are our Elizabeth Taylor. All right. On to the next one. Who do we have? I need more light in here, man. There we go. Let's do this. Oh, I'm like a. I'm like a. Um, I'm like a director here. I'm a Hollywood. Let's go. All right. So we have Aqua Di Gio. Whoop. Aqua Dijon. Just trust me. This is Aqua Dijon. This is a classic fragrance. You know what you're gonna get. Uh, you're gonna get compliments. You're gonna. You're going to get uh, notice. Maybe um, you're, you're fre fresh. Fresh. Fe smell good. So this is going to Stephen from Red Essence. You. It's a classic among the fragrances. Same as Stephen. A classic among the reviewers. He's been here for a long time. Boom. That's going to. ADG is Steven in the flesh. Number whatever is Ted Lapidus Pour Om. And I'm giving myself a plug here because I say Stefan Fragrance is ta Ted Lapidus. Why? Because at first this smells like shit and um, or poop. And uh, or, you know, you're like, what the hell's up with this? This bottle's kind of weird. I don't know. Too strong. Too much given off. This guy's stupid. Uh, but at the core... It, it, it's mysterious, but at the core, it's a good, good, and lovely fragrance, just like me. A lovely guy. All right. Next up is... Nautica Voyage. Who does Nautica Voyage go to? Talk amongst yourself. <sighs> Hope you're... Sip it along at home. This is fresh, another classic, um, cheap, and you, um, it is invigorating and fresh. So when I think of like invigoration and fresh ideas, I think of Gent Sense. And uh, Ash or Ashton at Gent Sense, you, my friend, are not a Cavoyage. All right, there you go. Fresh ideas, always coming out with with new and creative ideas and uh, videos. So Nautica Voyage, or Ash, you are Nautica Voyage. Last but not least, we have the mysterious, um, sometimes offensive, and uh, dark, maybe dark humored as well, but dark fragrance. And it is Ancre Noir. Who is Ancre Noir? Dark Black Soul. I am giving this to Eugene at You Smells Good. Dark, maybe a little times over the top, but you got enough in there to make you turn your head and say, hmm, make you think a little bit. And uh, yeah, so Ancre Noir is, what's his name? Eugene. <laughs> Eugene from You Smells Good. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, that video. That was a cool little concept, right? Nod your head. 
And um, I hope you guys like my outfit here. Um, I don't have as much chest hair as uh, Mr. Miami Cuddles, but, you know, hopefully I'm, I'll get there. Mm. But until next time, until next time, if you guys love this video and you want to see more content and more creative videos, stick around here on the Stefan Fragrance channel. I'll see you next time. Toodles.